Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things beauty, image and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for tuning back in. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. And if you are new, please do not leave without subscribing. There's a red button at the bottom. Please click that so that we can create a community where I share with you guys information on certain things. Anyway, let's jump into today's video. As you can see from the title, today I'll be sharing some information, some useful information for someone who maybe wants to go into the beauty business, specifically the nail business. Um, and I'm just going to be sharing with you the basic things that you need to start up a nail business or if you just want to buy like nail equipment for yourself. So if you're interested in finding out more about that, then please keep on watching right so first things first obviously this information is to help someone who wants to start up a beauty business like if you just want to go in the beauty business and you don't know where to start where to get certain things specifically the nail business so on this video i am strictly focusing on the nail part of the beauty business so we won't be covering anything else and i have my equipment here so my next video will probably be my salon tour so i'll show you guys um where I got everything and how much everything costed me and yeah so I have let me start with like the basics the basic things that you need to get so obviously when not obviously please bear with me <laughs> so when you are starting out you need equipment right you want to be a nail technician or you just want to have your own stuff at home and do your own nails although I mean, I'm going to beg you guys not to because you're going to be making all the beauticians run out of business <laughs> if you do DIY. But obviously there are times when you don't want to go to the salon for certain things and you just want to do them yourself. So I'll be yeah, giving you guys information on that. So the first um, equipment I have here is a cuticle, cuticle pusher. So this is what you use. My camera stopped filming. So this is what you use to push back the dead skin cells. So yeah, that is item number one. And then this is a cuticle cutter. But if you're someone that is starting out, I recommend this one because it's much more safer. So this is what you would use to remove the skin that you have pushed back with the first um, item. Right. And then another thing you will need is a nail cutter or nail clippers we all know this i mean probably most of you guys have this on in your bags all the time i have my own vanity kit that i carry with me all the time right and then after so that's the prepping part and then you're gonna need a filer i love these ones from fortune apple these are 100 um 180 degrees ones I just love how multi-purpose they are so yeah if you're starting out just get any filer it needs to be coarse and hard so that it can remove the shine from the nail that whole situation and you also need a nail buffer they are they're almost the same degree but obviously you guys don't need to care about degrees and angles when it comes to these things just make sure that you get a good coarse filer and a soft nail buffer to prep your nail and then what you'll need again is a set of um, nail tips so this is a pack of 500 they are 500 inside so I use them for you know, I think for about 20 people or more I don't really know although I should be knowing but I do not know but it lasts so if you're using it for yourself and you're starting us this is a good one to waste you know if you're doing lies <laughs> you can always have room to start afresh because this is a uh, value for money uh, it's very hard for me to give you prices you guys because I buy in bulk so my favorite glue is the My Rage one. This thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Goodbye and God bless. Mm. I'm sorry about that. Uh, my camera is full again, so I had to transfer everything that I had filmed to the to the laptop and then come back. Right. So I think I ended up speaking about the glue, and then after you have glued on your 
um, your tips then you obviously need to cut them so the best thing to use don't use the typical nail clippers make sure that you get this this one that is meant for cutting tips because this will ensure that they do not crack after you have stuck them onto um, the nail bed All right after that then you're gonna start to build your nail um, and then you're gonna need acrylic brushes so there are gel brushes and acrylic brushes so make sure that you if you are actually acrylic is the best one is the best nail system to start with so I highly recommend that you you make sure that your brush is looking like this one it's like flat and sharp like that this is an old one so a new one would typically uh, look like this you know you see that sharp end and I recommend that when you go and buy them make sure that they give you a, a number six or a number eight because the brush itself is big so if you're someone who's starting out you will have a room to play around with um, the powder and the the powder and the um, you know people just revving cars and shit and not thinking with the people that are actually creating content inside houses yo oh! wow so make sure that you get a number six or a number eight so that you can be it it gives you room to play around and then once you are used to 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 building then you can play around with different brushes but if you're starting out make sure that you're getting a number eight or a number six I will leave all that information um, in the description box then after you have identified the kind of brush that you need to use you will need a glass dish this is where you will pour in the liquid that you will use to actually create the nail I know you probably have seen um, that when you're out getting your nails done or probably have watched some YouTube videos and you saw the acrylic liquid which is called a monoma so that that's what you would use to mix your powder to your water and then obviously you need to get the right ratio which is another thing but that is not the main focus of this video then you will need this and then you will need acrylic powder i highly recommend that you get um you start oh my gucci oh my gucci okay so this is the acrylic powder that i highly highly recommend this is from a brand called as flow you can definitely get this from um what's this store planet nails planet nails um i will link the I won't link guys I will just describe I will write the name of the shops and then you can go into Google and see what's the closest um, nail planet right because they have a lot of branches so you can just make sure that you get the brand called as flow I will write this in the description box because this one if you're starting out the way they have formulated the powder is just so amazing it's so easy to use and even if you do make blenders it is very quick to fix because it doesn't dry it dries quick enough but you can work through it I do not recommend these ones I, I know we've probably seen these ones when you're going to get your nails done they are also available at all nail outlets they are available at um, planet nails but the issue with these ones the way they formulated the powder it's just not user friendly if you're someone who's starting out because sometimes it takes up a, it dries very quickly and it's bulky and chunky so you can't really use it and you'll think that you you suck at doing nails guarantee it's actually the the formulation of the product so just make sure that you're investing in good quality products I know they will be expensive nail stuff is very expensive but you know if you are investing in yourself you gotta lose some money in the process but I highly highly recommend that you use as flow it's just the best it's just so amazing it makes a life very easy then after you've built your nail obviously you will need to file I have mentioned all the filing another thing that you will need to make sure that you have is acetone you need acetone to wipe your nails 
during the prepping stage before you apply your tips to make sure that um, your nail is dry it doesn't have any oil to ensure that um, the tips does stick on and they last for long and also to soak off the nails you will need that and another thing you'll need is a UV LED light um, this one is the old one I know I can see myself through it this is the old version but I love it so much especially if you are using the gel system because it takes gel needs to dry gel will not dry you can leave it for two hours to air dry it will not dry it needs a UV LED light so you need to invest in a good UV LED light to make sure that the gel dries very well because I've had situations where um, I was doing my clients nails and they were doing a gel system and <laughs> the nails didn't dry well so come back then I get a complaint that tomorrow like the next day you see the gel um, did not hold properly did not dry properly so another thing is if you are already in business or if you are planning to start a business make sure that you change these yearly you can either replace the lamps or just replace the thing every year so that's what i do even if it's working fine but you can never you know you always need to keep things on set so i pre i prefer this for using um if you are doing a gel system because you you just cannot function without a UV, a UV LED when you are using gel so this is also available at um at nail at planet nails um i think it's around 500 rands now i'm not sure i think it's also available on take a lot and then i also have oh my goodness and then i also have this one this is the new one um it is the 9c plus a uv led lamp and i love this because it's easy to carry but i do not like using this when i use gel because you know it's it's just yeah but this is the new one i mean it's easy to carry and everything and i also have these small ones obviously i stock this is the smallest one that i have i love these ones so much sometimes when i don't have electricity i can just use my power bank to dry the nails so this is how it looks easy to carry portable portable i'm not sure if these are available at plant nails but another thing i know china mall does sell i got this one from china mall of which i do not plan on going back to buy such things from china mall because the thing with buying from china mall this is also available from china mall and it's very affordable 180 or 200 rand something like that but when it comes to equipment i think you really need to invest in or buy make sure that you buy at a place where you know that you will get value for money because at china mall they do test um the the product or the equipment for you at the store and you cannot really tell whether the product is in a good condition i mean switching it on does not mean that it's working what if when i get home it doesn't work so china mall does not give you that leverage to go back if you have a complaint so if you buy you buy there's no guarantee there's no warranty you cannot return it so uh if you buy from china mall you're just going to you know they say cheap is expensive sometimes so when it comes to things like this and especially because you are running a business you need to make sure that you are reputable and everything of yours is up to scratch because people are gonna run away so make sure that you buy at a shop where you can keep, keep the receipts and you can always go back if the product is giving you problems within um the guarantee period and things like that so china mall no 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 but some of the things you can go get from china mall like your, your nail tips uh liquids um i don't think they do have as flow the one i got my cousin actually got me from china like china china came with it from china so i've only seen it at i've only seen the this acrylic powder at at planet nails so 
yeah guys i think that is it with like starting a nail business when i started out i was it was two years ago and i saved money because i didn't have like startup capital so i used to get like allowance from my dad and then i saved some of that money and at that time i had a business partner so we went like half half on 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 certain things on most things and yeah i think my startup capital for nails only for nails only and that was not even everything that was like maybe five colors Oh, because this you can get for if you buy this size at at thingy at plant nails is probably 40 rands so nail stuff are very very expensive and they're very small in quantity it's very crazy I mean you can buy three things for like 500 rands you know so I, I think my startup capital was like 3k or 2k for nails only and that was not even the whole thing it was one lamp one um one this one of each and maybe two or three of the actual products so it's very expensive um but get yeah, expensive is also relative because it depends how much money you got but it is worth the investment especially if you are passionate about it so investing in yourself is important and even if you are someone who's not going into it for business purposes if you just want to buy these things for home use then i think it would be less than that so yeah that is a bit of my story i'll potentially be bringing such content so if you did enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe the button is red click it down below and also don't forget to click the bell next to it so you get a notification every time i upload a video thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next video goodbye and god bless